Okay guys, welcome again. Today I want to discuss about RSTP. RSTP is the more improved and advanced version of STP which is a layer 2 protocol that prevents bridge loops and broadcast storms in local networks with redundant connections. Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol has faster convergence and it is also backward compatible with STP. The IEEE standard for Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol is 802.1W. With RSTP, the IEEE improved the convergence performance of STP from 15 seconds to less than 10 seconds with its definition of Rapid STP. Some similarities between STP and RSTP are in both STP and RSTP bridge with the lowest bridge ID is elected as root bridge. It elects the root port on non-root switches by using the same rules. Also, it elects designated ports on each LAN segment by using the same rules. And it places each port in either forwarding or discarding state. Although RSTP calls the blocking state the discarding state. RSTP improves convergence for edge type connections by immediately placing the port in forwarding state when the link is physically active and also improves convergence over full duplex links between switches. RSTP recognizes the loss of the path to the root bridge through the root port in 6 seconds based on 3 times the hello timer value which are 2 seconds. RSTP does recognizes a loss path to the root bridge much more quickly. The main changes with RSTP can be seen when changes occur in the network. STP passively waits on new BPDUs and reacts to them during the listening and learning states. With RSTP, the switches negotiate with neighboring switches by sending RSTP messages. The messages enable the switches to quickly determine whether an interface can be immediately transitioned to a forwarding state. In many cases, the process takes only a second or two for the entire RSTP domain. Let's dive into a rapid spanning tree and we'll see what the difference are with the classic spanning tree. Take a look at the table. Remember the port states of the spanning tree. We have a blocking, listening, learning, and forwarding port state. This is the first difference between spanning tree and rapid spanning tree. In the rapid spanning tree only has three port states, discarding, learning, and forwarding. And RSTP removes the need for listening state and reduces the time required for learning state by actively discovering the network's new state. You already know about learning and forwarding, but discarding is a new port state. Basically, it combines the blocking and listening port state. RSTP has three more port rules in addition to the root port and designated port rules defined in STP. This table lists and defines the port rules. There are four port rules in RSTP, root port, designated port, alternate port, backup port, and disabled port. Root port, the port with the best path cost is elected as the root port. A non-root bridge can only have one root port. Root ports forward data to the bridge. Designated port, it is a non-root path that is used as a forwarding port for every LAN segment. Alternate port, it is a backup port with, a, with less desirable path cost. All such a ports remain in a blocked state. Backup port, it is a backup path to a segment where another bridge port is already connected. This port receive BPDUs from their switches, but they remain in a blocked state. Disabled port, a port that is administratively disabled, 
or that is not capable or working for other reasons. In addition to the port roles just described, RSTP uses an H port concept that corresponds to the PVST plus port fast feature. An H port connects directly to an end device. Therefore, the switch assumes that no other switch is connected to it. H ports are the port that connect the host devices like PCs, servers. So, H ports are not participating in RSTP calculation. They do not receive BPDUs and they can go to the forwarding state immediately, thereby escaping the time consuming listening and learning port state. The port must be a point-to-point -point link. If it is a shared link, the port is not an H port and port fast should not be configured. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel.